All right, we are at the end of 2021, and we goodbye have a 2021. Full year of collecting in. So I actually had a thought of why don't we go back and look at some of our best things, our best pickups yeah, over the year. Yeah. And I'm hoping people will do the same thing because throughout the year we actually grab quite a few games. We do. We and and you don't realize how many you get. You don't. And you then don't. You don't realize sometimes the value of what you picked up, you know, how much a game can maybe, it, it caught fire on the market and people are looking for it and it just skyrocketed. That's and true. We have a few of those that were like, what the hell, it's worth that much? Jesus. I know, I was really, really shocked too. Yep. And then there's other games that we just haven't covered on the channel. I've got a stack, a small stack of games, yep. stuff that we've picked up here on the side. And I'm hoping you guys in the comments, uh, Tell us what what, you, what were your some of your favorite or highlight yeah. you know pickups that you got throughout the year. I and if you have a channel, by all means, oh, do a response video. video. Yeah, yeah all the not? time. We love that shit. Yeah. yeah, so do a response video if if you can. And uh, these these are so, we don't have a top ten or anything. No, it's, it's we're not, not a top whatever. We're not gonna just... trick you guys into another top ten because no. people are getting tired of them. <laughs> 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 Jen's evil laugh. <laughs> Sorry, in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab one right off the top here. Sure. And I had no idea that it was worth this much. That it's Maze and Saga Mutant Fighter. We picked it up probably in the summer. I think so. Ish. Yeah. And I have the sticker on the inside. I paid fifty-four dollars for it doesn't have a manual yeah and you i can't remember i don't you know told if me. it's with the manual or without the it, manual the price you gave me was probably with the with manual complete anyway buff. it was just nuts but i didn't believe it was worth that much no um what were we talking like 100 and it was well over 100 150 or 160 like we'll, we'll pop it up anyways I but we know. were kind of I was taken off, Gary. Yeah, I was like, holy crap. That's now, that you much. did play through Captain, most of this game? I did. Captain Algebra actually just did a couple of videos there. He oh, was yeah. playing through it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You you didn't quite get through the entire game. I, I fucking rage quit. <laughs> I know you I did. I rage quit. It was like, oh, it's like two different styles of, like, there's a beat em up style, and then there's a uh, one versus one street file yeah, yeah. fighter style when you hit the boss. And that part of the game is so freaking stiff there the controls it's hard and i i thought i was towards the end and then you looked it up and it completely ruined my day and i was like <laughs> no. no no you gotta fight them all again and then i'm like fuck this shit i'm, I'm done for now oh, no! yeah well let's talk about the console that we picked up that we've been looking for for a long time oh, yeah. the turbo graphics 16. And we're not gonna say what we got it for because we got it at one of our local pawn shops and he gave us a fantastic deal. Give me a sweetheart deal. Oh yeah. Yeah, so um, it needed a little bit of work. Um, TurboGrafx-16 games are few and far between around here. Yes. So we, we ended up going the EverDrive route. Not to say that if I didn't if I didn't see something, especially a splatter house or something like that yeah. in town, I would probably grab it. <laughs> It'd be hard not to. Oh yeah. All right, this one's yours. This is your pickup right yes. here. Yes. Now this, this I almost didn't keep. This I almost, I, I really, I really wanted to flip it. The more I thought about it, I just couldn't do it. Jim, we don't, we're not good at flipping. I flip. know. So I got the Game Boy Color, the Pokemon, Pokemon. Pikachu edition. Uh, all full disclosure, it was missing the back cover. I ended up getting a replacement cover. It's and it, a pretty close it's, it's, match, it's a especially fairly... for the, uh, the paint job is kind of aged. It kind of has that weird. Yeah, and it does come with like a new, like sticker that goes on the front or whatever inlay. But I didn't need it because no, no, ours, ours had is it. In great shape. Yeah. Yeah. So I was able to uh, complete that, and then the, this is the real school. Yeah, we got Kid Dracula, and I remember the day I picked this up. It was raining outside, and I said to the guy on the uh, on text because I ended up getting both of these for 160 bucks. I could probably flip this and and it would probably be 320. I could easily double my money, but I just don't want to. I just don't care about that stuff enough to want to. I kind of am, but he let me open it up. So I brought the tool yeah. to open it up to make sure it was legit. I th and I it think is, I told you. You did. And it is <laughs> like a legit card. When you start card. buying expensive games like that, 
Like there are a lot of friggin' uh, rip oh, yeah. off their yeah. Chinese knockoff stuff there. Then they just stick a new label on it. And... All right. The other thing I want to talk about is my Steel Battalion. I think I actually have the game here. Steel Battalion. I got the game. Let me dig it out. So I got Steel Battalion along with the entire controller setup. There are the sticks, the pedals, the whole nine yards for a birthday. That was my best day. <laughs> there were many games in that clip that we could have talked about because they, they were yeah. all really good. Yeah. Fut Futurama? Futurama was in was there. Was in there? Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Yeah. But there was a couple games in there and we could have talked about any. Still nothing. have not played. I put it in I tried the game and everything, but my idea was I'm going to build an yeah. entire setup, a stand and everything for the controller so I can sit right in it and then I'm going to play through the game. And of course, price of plywood this year was bonkers. Next one. This was actually giving, given to us. It was. So we have Ranger X on the Genesis. Yes. I, Shout out to Denver Gamer. Denver Gamer is an awesome dude. And uh, this game is, is a freaking awesome game. Now, uh, we made a deal with him that Jen's going to make him a painting here. I am. Did Denver Gamer pick a theme for the painting? He ca he has said numerous times, Earthworm Jim. Oh, yeah. That's yes. what you told me that. Mm -hmm. All right. Next game. Outrun 2006. I was friggin' pretty pumped to get this one since I loved Outrun 2 so much. Two points! Yes, I know it's not uh, an original OG. Uh, I just haven't changed we it yet. We just haven't changed it yet. Secondly, I know it's missing the sticker. Yeah. It, it, what, the sticker wasn't that important. It's got a Ferrari. It's supposed to have a Ferrari sticker yes. on it there. I don't know if there are any other racing games out there that do have a Ferrari sticker on there. I don't know either. Probably not. That'd be cool. Let me know in the comments there because if I can buy a cheap game, a racing game that does have the Ferrari sticker on the front of it there and I can swap it the case, that'd be awesome. I got the best part of it. I got the game, the artwork, and the, uh, and the, the manual. manual there. So what? Yeah. It doesn't have a sticker. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a care. Uh, let's do another Xbox game. Sure. Obscure. Yes. This one we haven't played yet. This one we're going to have to play because it is two player. Oh, two -player I didn't know uh. that. I really didn't know that. One to two players. Can I say what we're nope. talking about Obscure? I have half a mind. Yeah, I know. That was not my complete thought. I have half a mind to custom paint. Oh, yeah, we An haven't. original Xbox. Yeah. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Obscure was a theme we thought about. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be obscure, but I know that this one's was one on of the, the table. Ideas. Don't steal our idea, Russ Lyman. <laughs> I'm going to custom paint the entire thing. He's going to beat me to it now. I know. Damn it. Let's do this one. PS2. Yes. Sui Coden. Sui Coden. Five. Thank you, Generation Pixel. <laughs> it was a Generation Pixel? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. But he says it with his cool Scottish accent that you don't have. I don't have. I just, no, you know. yeah, I could get drunk and give you an Irish accent. But anyway, this is the most expensive of the PS2 games. The PS2. Two. Yeah. yeah. We have four out of five. There's another video coming up for collecting goals for 2022. They're all fucking expensive at this sure, point. Sure, language. They are. <laughs> That's where we're at. All right. You get a busy mouth here talking about okay. these. Wow. Well, after I played Dawn of Sorrow, I knew I had to have both of these. I do believe it was Portrait of Ruin. I, I, here, here we go. I was at the parlor and I was like, I guess I'll look through the DS games again. Fun? Yes, it was. Huh. I guess I'll look through the DS games again. They, they probably won't have it. And then I saw it and I was like, no, it can't be real. Oh. It can't be real. <laughs> and I, I think I got it for like a really good price. Yeah, 65 bucks, which is really good That's Canadian. Good. Yeah. yeah, right? Convert that in American, you'd be like, holy shit, they holy gave it shit. to you. Holy shit, they gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, so I was so stoked to get this one for such a good deal that I was like, I don't fucking so care. I'll spend extra on that one. Spend, and I did. I spent, I spent what it was worth. I didn't get any deals on this, no. but to be able to complete You know what? The YouTube that. community, I think we had a couple of people oh. actually offer to sell us. I think no. somebody actually offered to give you a copy. They of it. did, and it was just the sweetest thing, and I appreciate it. I already bought that one, and I'm certainly not going to take a copy from somebody when I already have it. I'd rather see them sell it or give it to somebody else that doesn't have it. All right, let's do this one because people are expecting this one to be last. I'm going to fool you guys. <laughs> All right, so the Adventure of Link, you know, Zelda 2. Um, sealed, factory sealed copy of this sucker. Um, expensive game. Yeah. Still got the sticker on the back to show how much I paid for it. But we didn't <laughs> pay that much for it because they gave us a discount. 
Yeah. They did give us a bit of a discount, and we also were able to uh, use some PC points and flip some stuff around so that out of pocket, it's, it was almost nothing. I think we spent $100 cash. Yes. That's still money, PC points. That's still money. Buying this game is a piece of history. It is. Which also forced me to play through the game, because I was like, yeah. fuck, I can't have something like that on the shelf and I play through it. Yeah. It made me realize how much I do not like the game. <laughs> that would be one, one time deal, I'm done, I'm not going to play that one again. I played through it. And that's it. That's no, no it more. A, it's not just a piece of history. It's a piece of Canadian history because yeah, this, this is, is the Canadian variant. variant. Yeah. yeah. It has From French Mattel. and English. Yeah. You should play through the game. Oh, fuck. After you just sold me on it, yeah. I definitely will. Yes. Very good. Better go to you. Uh, let's do this one. We yeah. did talk about this one before. Bloody Roar Extreme. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was worth as much as you said it was. Yeah. I think it's gone up recently. I think I it has. I feel like it's going to go back down. Possibly, mm -hmm. because I've noticed the gaming market, just following it on eBay, I've noticed the market has leveled off and some stuff is actually starting to come down a little bit. This one here, I don't know how much I paid for it exactly, but I feel like I paid... Like 50, 60 range. No, I feel like I paid like 45. But here's the thing, there was some kind of a weird cover or insert over the front. Remember that? Oh, I do! Because I it was do. at a rental store, which... I only had the the uh, the cover art like was a little square and the rest of it was red. And it was like rent this blah blah blah. And I thought that's what I was getting. I was like, well, fuck it. It's like forty five bucks. The manual there, the disc <laughs> there. I'll just we'll print off a new cover so it looks good on the shelf. But yeah, you know, print off a new cover for me. And you pulled it out. And you said that's just an insert. I'm like, no way. Just, yeah, it's like the it's all. This is all legit. The whole thing. I was like, wow. Yeah. So I was pretty it's happy. It's so nice to be able to. Yeah. So I got a good deal on that one. And that one of those was on ones. Our, our wish list for, oh, like, I, I feel like a, a lot very, of these were, not a lot of them, but some of them were on our wish list. There was definitely some yeah, of them. Yeah, these were them. on the wish list for last year. Yep. Bloody Roar Extreme was. You have a wish list and then you, and then I have a, but I want to get my baby this list. And then I end up <laughs> spending get, way more than the fucking wish list You ever. spend more money than me. I do, this, but I spend this, more money on you. This is proof of it, because this Ten. is a purchase you made. But this is worth <laughs> every penny. Everybody I've talked to uh, about the VR that has has any knowledge of the PlayStation VR will tell me that if you're looking for a great game, Moss is it. They, I don't think now, as many physical copies were made. Do you want me made. to ruin your day for you? How much did you pay for that? I don't know. I want to say you paid somewhere close to 100 Canadian. I seen one for probably 70 Canadian on eBay not that long ago. The money's already spent, Scott. It doesn't Just pass. saying there, some of the games are going down in price. No, so I don't be think Be patient I... if you're I eBay know. shopping. But, shut up. <laughs> uh, this one is probably one of the better graphic. This was graphical a games. digital pack-in, I think, with the... Uh, with the VR. The VR with yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, it was. And then I noticed a lot of loose copies, so I don't know if it came like loose with some of them, like just like disc only. Yeah, in that's the pack -in. With the, in, in a sleeve, possibly. Yeah. So it was a little bit harder to get complete, but I They're just well knew. Yeah. I knew I had to have it because apparently Astrobot, it plays it very similar, similar to the Astrobot. Amazing on VR. Yeah. Amazing. If they could make every game like Astrobot. Oh. Okay, that's. I don't know how many that is. Those are the highlights. I don't know. Like, we didn't. If there were other games we could have put in, but we've talked about them before in other videos. The Fatal Frames could have won in here. Yeah, Fatal Easily. Fatal Frames. There were definitely some PS3 games that we got. There yes. were some. GameCube games that we got this year. Yes, that's true We've too. We mentioned them all already, and uh, so yep. this leads me into I want to do the next video following this, or closely after this, is our collecting goals yeah. for the next year. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, game on.